So, the bismuth sapsalosolate is a medication that is used in treatment of diarrhea and H. pylori infection. And in this video, we will talk about its mechanism of action, therapeutic uses, adverse effects, and contraindications. So the bismuth subsalicylate is taken orally and when it reaches the stomach after administration, it is hydrolyzed into bismuth and salicylic acid. So it is broken down in the stomach into bismuth and salicylic acid. Now the salicylic acid, which is also the salicylate, is completely absorbed into the blood while the bismuth remains unabsorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. Now again, the salicylate part is absorbed fully and it works to inhibit the cyclooxygenase enzyme, thus inhibiting the prostaglandin synthesis. Because remember, the cyclooxygenase enzyme work to produce the prostaglandin. And once the cyclooxygenase enzyme is inhibited, there is less prostaglandin synthesized. And the prostaglandin is helpful in inflammation and hypermotility of the gastrointestinal tract. And once there is less prostaglandin, this means there is inhibition of inflammation and hypermotility. So we have less inflammation and less hypermotility and both of these characteristics are helpful in treatment of diarrhea. Now since we explained the salicylate part, now let's go back and explain the bismuth part. Now the bismuth is not absorbed into the blood it stays in the gastrointestinal tract as we mentioned and in the gastrointestinal tract the bismuth forms bismuth salts and those contain a bactericidal and antimicrobial activity and the bismuth salts prevent the bacteria from binding and degrowing on the lining of the stomach and the rest of the gastrointestinal tract and by this mechanism the bismuth helps in H. pylori and other gastrointestinal infection treatments. Now the bismuth also work to inhibit the H. pylori enzyme activities including the phospholipase, the protease and the urease which are secreted by the H. pylori, so the bismuth work to inhibit them. And this is helpful in H. pylori treatment too. Now again, the bismuth has an antimicrobial, bactericidal, and also it inhibits the protease, the urease, the phospholipase of the H. pylori. Now since the bismuth prevent bacterial binding to the gastrointestinal lining, and we mentioned that this is helpful in treatment of H. pylori and other GI infections. Now, this is also lead to a lot of other benefits, and those include prevention of intestinal secretion, and this action is helpful in treatment of diarrhea, since one of the mechanisms of diarrhea is intestinal secretion, and since bismuth work to prevent that, it work to treat diarrhea. Now bismuth also promote absorption of fluid, sodium and chloride. And this is also helpful in diarrhea treatment since this is reduces the volume of these tools. And bismuth also reduces inflammation and this is also helpful in diarrhea treatment. And bismuth promote the ulcer healing and this is helpful in peptic ulcer disease treatment. Now it is very important to understand that the bismuth subsalicylate 
although it has antimicrobial and bactericidal effects. Interestingly enough, it does not affect the normal flora of the stomach. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses. So the bismuth subsalicylate is an over-the-counter medication and it is FDA approved for treatment of diarrhea, heartburn, nausea, and gastrointestinal discomfort. And bismuth subsalicylate is the preferred self-treatment for mild diarrhea and it is preferred over antimicrobials and by mild diarrhea it means less than four stools past a day without dehydration. Now regarding the off-label uses of the bismuth, so it is used for H. pylori infection treatment, so the American Gastroenterological Association recommends using bismuth subsalicylate in quadruple therapy for H. pylori infection treatment with the proton pump inhibitors, the tetracyclines, and the metronidazole. And this is recommended for patients with the previous microlide exposure and for patients who are allergic to penicillin. So the quadruple therapy is used if the patient has previous microlide exposure or the patient is allergic to penicillin. Because if the patient doesn't have a previous microlide exposure and is not allergic to penicillin, then they are treated with H. pylori triple drug therapy. And the triple drug therapy for H. pylori include a proton pump inhibitor and either an amoxicillin or ampicillin and a clarithromycin antibiotic. Now the bismuth also used off-label in treatment or prophylaxis against traveler's diarrhea. And the antibiotics are superior for this use. And it is also used off-label in treatment of cholera in children. And the antibiotics are also superior. And also it is used in treatment of symptomatic microscopic colitis in patients unable to undergo budesonide therapy. Now moving on to talk about the adverse effects. So the bismuth may lead to common adverse effects. Those include bitter taste, nausea, diarrhea, and black tongue and black stool. Now the black tongue and stool occurring in some patients due to the sulfur in the saliva and colon binds to the bismuth and forms the bismuth sulfide. Now the bismuth sulfide is an insoluble black salt that lead to discoloration of the tongue and stool. And this discoloration is temporary and harmless. Now the bismuth uncommonly may lead to toxicity and toxicity occur if this medication is used for more than six weeks and it present as fatigue and deterioration of mental status. So the patient present with changes in mood, confusion and other mental status deterioration. Now rarely this medication might lead to fatal neurotoxicity and other reported adverse effects include hearing loss, tinnitus, muscle spasm, anxiety, confusion, depression, headaches, and slurred speech. So the bismuth adverse effects include effects on the gastrointestinal tract and the central nervous system. Now finally, let's talk about the contraindications. So the bismuth subsalicylate is contraindicated in patients allergic to salicylates. For example, the patient allergic to aspirin. Now this medication is also contraindicated in children or adolescents present with flu-like symptoms because the salicylates 
and the bismuth may lead to rice syndrome in these patients. Now also this medication is contraindicated in patients with bleeding problems because the salicylate like the aspirin aggravate bleeding and this medication is contraindicated for patients on medications increasing the risk for bleeding like the anticoagulants, the sulfenpyrazone, the propenicid, the methotrexate and any medications with high salicylate concentrations. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please give us a like, comment your ideas and questions, and subscribe.